Okay, today we're going to be looking at a little bit more at the date command. That's what we previously looked at. And um, what you can do is, last time we looked at, you know, if you type date, it gives you the date. I can do date plus percent capital Y, and that gives me the year, or H for the uh, hour. I can do things like uh, F for the date like this. One thing I didn't mention, if I do D, it does the date like this, because we talked about doing it with slashes, uh, so you can... I, I was looking at the man page a moment ago and saw that option. So that is the current date and time. But what if you want to know something more? What if you want to give it a certain date or time? You can do that. So we can do date dash D and then give it a date. And it's it amazes me how smart this is. I can say 1 to 2016. And when I do that, it gives me the date. So I know that January 2nd, 2016 was a, was a Saturday, uh, and the rest of the information I kind of know because I put it in there, but uh, you could also do, uh, let's, you can give it time. I can say 1 a.m., and there it puts it in as 1 a.m., so let's say I wanted the epoch time, the Unix timestamp of January 2nd, 2016 at 1 a.m., I can do this, and it will output it as that, or if I want to, well, this seems a little weird because you would just type that, but you can you can figure stuff out on date and time, and the epoch thing is, is also very useful if you're trying to calculate the time between two dates um, in certain manners. Uh, so, and I can say, you know, 12, like this, uh, and it tells me, it puts in that time, and it's so smart. Uh, I can also, let's see if I do Monday, Jan... Oh, Monday Jan, yeah, invalid. I was gonna say a day of the week, but um, Jan second. If I do that, invalid. There we go. So, so I can type the date different ways. You know, it's it's not perfect. You can't type it just any way, um, but it's very useful. And you can use this for certain things. For like I said getting the epoch time, but let's say you want to know what a certain day of the week was for a certain date. Let's say I wanted to know um, what Christmas was uh, back in 2016. So there you go, I can see it's a Sunday, and I can do plus a capital A, or sorry, percent plus, no, no, plus percent capital A. Oh, it was a Sunday, or lowercase a if I wanted the abbreviated version. Okay, what was Christmas in 2017? It was a Monday. 2018 is going to be a Tuesday. I'm seeing a pattern here. Um, let's say we celebrate the 4th of July here in America. So I can say um, July 4th, 2016 was a Monday. What about July 4th, 2014? 2013. I can see the day of the week. Uh, which could be useful if you're trying to check something, or if you just want a list of what days of the week. If you just said something like, um, if you just said 12, uh, 25, it's going to give you this year. This year, it's going to be on a Tuesday. And that makes it very useful. Again, epoch time, I think the two most useful things of this is the epoch time, uh, so you can calculate the difference in time, uh, and the day of the week, if you want to know the day of the week. Like, hey, well, what's, what's my birthday going to be? Uh, in 2028. It's going to be a Sunday. That's good to know. Uh, anyway, um, so it was a little bit shorter. We're actually going to play a little bit more with uh, date and time in the next video showing you some more functionality that you may or may not know that the date command can do because you would think a command that tells you the date and time isn't as useful as this, but it does some pretty neat things. So I do thank you for watching. And as always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.